Let's go now to David Bernard. He's chief meteorologist for our Miami station, CBS4. He's a CBS News hurricane consultant. David, can you tell us what's going on with Sandy right now? Well, we got some brand new information in, Gail, in just the last couple of minutes on the ADM advisory, and it's still an 85-mile-per-hour hurricane. I think it is getting stronger, though, as we speak. Here's a big clue, though. It is now making that westward turn. It's now moving north-northwest at 20, and so it's aiming for the Jersey shoreline, and it's going to make landfall by this evening. Now, the hurricane hunters just a few minutes ago found winds at flight level of 104 miles per hour and indicate that the surface pressure may be falling, so the storm is likely to continue to intensify as it approaches the coast. There you can see the heaviest rain bands moving through the Del Marva this morning and extending south through Norfolk and also into Cape Hatteras. Some of that really heavy rain will be spreading in northern New Jersey and New York as the afternoon goes along. And the hurricane force gusts, they're coming on shore late this afternoon and this evening. That's when we're expecting the landfall of Hurricane Sandy to begin. Uh, David, what's the impact of a full moon? Well, the impact of a full moon is going to raise the tide level. And, Charlie, that is one of the big concerns with this storm. It's probably the number one concern, and that is the storm surge coupled with that full moon. And it's just going to add that much more to the storm tides. These are the current wave heights that we're finding. We're noticing 30 and 40 foot plus waves east and south of the center. And all of that is being forced into the Jersey Shore and also into Long Island Sound. And so we think a devastating storm surge is on the way. It's Sandy makes that landfall, and there you can see we're going to have multiple tide cycles with this full moon, meaning we're going to have two, maybe three high tides we have to go through when the area is going to be susceptible to storm surge. And as we said, that approach from the east to the west, that's the worst case scenario for a lot of places along the Jersey Shore and also, of course, for the New York City area, as we've been talking about. I am concerned about that. I'm going to take a look at the satellite picture, too, guys, because it looks like an eye might be trying to form on Sandy, indicating that, again, more strengthening could occur before landfall. David, one more time, thank you again for all that you're doing with us this morning.